I made that stupid mistake in one of my first incourses and since then nobody told me to sit up and that is why I'm here for you so that you will not make the same mistake I really do not want you to make the same mistake I made in my time that is why I'm telling you these things that I didn't do in my time and the things I did that helped me a whole lot if you've done all these things and you're, you still find yourself being so slow that you can't meet up once you hear five minutes more I mean what are you still trying to think you're hearing five minutes more and you still have like 20 to 30 questions you've not answered and you're still trying to think about the answer are you all right <laughs> seriously or is your village people doing you once you start with those questions that you don't need to think more than three seconds to answer you would agree with me that there are certain questions that if you're asked hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima and today we are going to be talking about tips and tricks for mcq and obj questions i really don't know about your school but in my school we usually write 50 mcq during in courses um, i'm talking about the preclinical class right now while in the main exam the main professional exam and the mock professional exam we usually write 100 to 150 questions mcq questions so i've actually written out all the tips yeah in case you really don't know what mcq is mcq is multiple choice questions you know, those questions that have a b c d e unfortunately i do not have any past question to show you guys because they usually do not let us take out the mcq questions from the exam hall we answer the questions right on the question paper and submit to them so remember that this is a series i've already taught you guys how to study for distinctions i've taught you guys how to write your theory exam that's anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. I'll put the links up as I'm talking about them. I'll put the links up in case you've not seen. I've also taught you guys how to write and prepare for practical exams. I'll put the link up as well. Today is MCQ and by next week, I'm going to upload what to do on your exam day. So it's a whole series. I really want you guys to have these distinctions. Like seriously, the 60% and the 70%, it's so important to me. So I really want you guys to learn from my own mistakes and to also pick things that I did that worked tremendously well for me. Trust me when I say that. <laughs> okay, so the first tip I'm going to talk to you guys about is practice questions. Yes, I know that your school may not have this MCQ and OBJ past questions. If you have access to past question papers that are MCQs and OBJs and subjectives, you're really lucky. Please go through those questions. Practice them. I cannot overemphasize. It helped me a whole lot. And when you practice these questions, work on your speed. Very important. Work on your speed. For me, I tried answer because it's usually in my school, they usually give one hour to answer 100 to 150 questions. So even though it's 150 questions you're asked or 120 questions you're asked, it is still one hour you'll be given. So I had to practice. I started at first practicing 100 questions in one hour. Omo, I thought it was easy to do, but the first time I tried it, I could not finish. But I kept on practicing and practicing. And with time, I got used to answering 100 questions in one hour, even 120 questions in one hour. I even practiced 150 questions in one hour. So if you ask so many MCQ questions that you cannot answer within the stipulated time, what I would advise you do is start with those questions that you don't need to think more than three seconds to answer. You would agree with me that there are certain questions that if you're asked, I mean, you don't need to think more than three seconds. You would see the answer right there. But there are some questions that you need to think and think and think for more than 10 seconds, for more than a minute to be able to get the answer. What I do is those kind of questions, I skip them. So I go through all the 120 or 150 or 100 questions that I have and then I answer those ones that are very easy for me to pick immediately. Now when I finish answering those ones, I now go back and start from answering those ones I need to think for more than 10 seconds to 1 minute to get the answer. Because if you spend your whole time struggling so hard to answer those questions that you need to think, it will be so annoying to rush and do tumbo tumbo. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I'm talking about when I say tumbo tumbo. Tumbo tumbo means you just pick any option. It will be very very disheartening when you pick just any option because you're crunched with time. When you could have just used two seconds to think and you would have gotten the correct answer. Then work on your accuracy also. If you finish answering those last questions that you've answered, find out the ones you failed. Check the correct answer. Sorry about the background noise. 
find out the ones you failed and check the correct answer don't just fail and say oh i i got 35 over 50 today and you're very happy what what about the remaining 15 you failed why did you fail those 15 questions check why you failed. check the answer not just checking the answer check the answer and also check why you failed so that per adventure you uh, you encounter something similar to that or that same question in exam hall you will not fail it again i mean you're practicing i would advise you to practice at least 1000 mcq questions 1000 to 2000 mcq questions before you step into the exam hall i assure you if you can do that and also the ones you fail you check why you fail those questions in fact getting up to 70 percent self in that mcq would be a walk in the park for you i'm telling you talk less of 60 percent yes then another thing that i would advise in exam hall i really don't know about your school but for biochemistry department they usually tell us once you mutilate an answer it's automatically wrong so even though you can't do the wrong thing to write the correct thing they will still mark you down so i advise you go with your pencil and your eraser so your first marking you just use your pencil and mark and tick and tick and tick when you finish ticking everything you now go back if you still have the time you go back and check through again before you use your pen to write the correct option it's possible though it, it has happened to me before in that particular exam i knew the correct answer and what was in my mind was the correct answer but when i carried my pen to write down i mistakenly ticked the wrong option and there was nothing i could do it just annoyed me so much that i lost that mark because once you mutilate it they will just mark you down so even though they tell you oh two minutes more five minutes more you can quickly uh -uh, use your pen quickly and circle and use your eraser to clean whatever mistake that you made so that's another tip that i'll give to you learn how to do guesswork i'm telling you learn how to do guesswork i'm talking about preclinical classes now because i know in preclinical classes there is no negative marking i don't know about your school anyway <laughs> let me not just if you've done all these things and you're, you still find yourself being so slow that you can't meet up once you hear five minutes more i mean what are you still trying to think you're hearing five minutes more and you still have like 20 to 30 questions you've not answered and you're still trying to think about the answer are you all right <laughs> seriously or is your village people doing you once you hear five minutes more at that moment adrenaline should kick in your brain should just tell you that there is no time again to start thinking of what the correct answer is or what the wrong answer is at that moment all you should do should just be ticking anything that is where the holy spirit comes in once you just hear that five minutes more just uh, what i do is i just say holy spirit please help me i don't have any time anymore to start thinking what the answer is just help me out and you'll be surprised that the ones that you even use timbo timbo please when i say timbo timbo i mean guesswork the ones that you even use timbo timbo to answer may end up being correct miracles happen that's why i will never ever underestimate the help of the holy spirit in multiple choice questions the most important tip that i'm going to tell you about is prayers the holy spirit can help you a whole lot in multiple choice questions and obj questions you'll be surprised the first option that comes to your mind tick it the first option that comes to your mind circle it write it down don't wait here five minutes more and you're still looking through to see if you can quickly get the answer how many questions will you be able to answer in five minutes when you need to think for up to one minute to be able to answer most most of the questions you're asked you don't want to start <laughs> so you don't allow your village people to use you i made that kind of, that stupid mistake in one of my first incourses and since then nobody told me to sit up and that is why i'm here for you so that you would not make the same mistake i really do not want you to make the same mistake i made in my time that is why i'm telling you these things that i didn't do in my time and the things i did that helped me a whole lot another tip i'm going to talk to you about is read wide mcqs and obj questions do not always necessarily come from your lecturer slide so i advise you to read wide study your textbooks if you still have the time this is one thing that i did not do that i'm really regretting so much i've never been the textbook type at all <laughs> i'm not that patient to start flipping through textbooks and it haunted me a lot in my mcq questions so i would advise you especially if you're just starting out preclinicals if you're in 200 level start early to get used to studying textbooks my next week i'm certainly going to upload a video on the textbooks that helped me a lot throughout my preclinical class for anatomy biochemistry and physiology just watch out for that video so i advise you to read wide 
don't depend only on your lecturer's slide if you want to do very well in your mcq questions make use of online materials like teach me anatomy teach me physiology ken hub um physiopedia anatopedia so many so many websites that can help you a whole lot read wide and then finally i would, I would say study your past questions look for past questions and study past questions the next video i'm going to upload will be on what to do on your exam day very very important i'm going to tell you 15 things that you should do on your exam day so watch out for that video if you watch this video to this point i'm really grateful thank you so much for watching i'm sure there are some other tips that i may have forgotten or i may not have mentioned please don't forget to drop in the comment section those tips that helped you so much in your mcqs and your obj questions remember to give this video a thumbs up please those likes that you give my videos they are very very important to me they encourage me a whole lot give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to my channel if this is the kind of content that you like share my video with your friends your classmates your colleagues is certainly going to help them a whole lot turn on the notifications bell if you've not done so please 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 very important so that you'll be notified when i upload a new video so see you next week with a mind-blowing video. Bye.